guys. In this bag, got my chimney here. Yeah, probably just give it eight out of ten. I just missed the acai. I mean, I'm here. I've been here for three months. I'm like, I miss the adventure in South America. I miss the, but the people here are sexy. Like the the girls here are really sexy. Compared, but the, in Brazil, I think the um, the girls there they give you this radiant kind of energy. Like it's weird, it's hard to explain. Like their energy in Brazil is sexual energy is really infectious. But here, you can actually approach and talk to the girls and relax with them, especially Ukrainians. Ukrainians blew my mind how much you can just relax and talk to them easily. The girls in South America, they're usually stressed out because they're thinking, oh, what's, everyone's watching me. Everybody, you know, they feel a bit, um, it's hard to explain. I mean, it's got, this is the most delicious. This and goulash, this, this is a chimney, ice cream, donut mixed together, pistachios and everything. Um, Probably the best, the second best food in all of Chechia. They have goulash as well, which is like a stew. And yeah, like I just spoke to a nice Ukrainian girl that one, and then she was uh, because they have a lot of workers here. They come from Ukraine, try and find a uh, work here, and yeah, you can actually chill and talk to them. You can relax. Whereas in South America, you always feel an, the girls feel an edge all the time because of the dangers. They're thinking, oh, the guys are watching me. Everyone's watching me. I can't speak to a white guy because what if they find out? What if they attack me because I'm speaking to a white guy? <laughs> um, I think Spain's really good. Spain's a good mix. Spain's like probably. I think they're a bit more conservative. Um, but yeah, here it's much more chill to talk to girls. Uh, that's kind of good and kind of bad because it keep makes you more relaxed. But you know, you don't want to get too comfortable. You don't want to get too relaxed. You know, it's being on the edge all the time. It's kind of good. It pushes you. So yeah. I'm a, I'm a nice woman here. I might be, I might be seeing the video. Oh, yeah. This is a, it's a nice, it's a nice, nice woman. Yeah, the shoulders are aching. But yeah, she was, uh, she's really cool, really cool Ukrainian girl. So we're gonna have come back here. This, this restaurant here is really cool. Yeah. So yeah, that's it, guys. So like, subscribe. We're gonna go here and have a good restaurant. Yeah. The shoulders are killing me. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Yeah, I just spoke to her for a few times. It's really cool. And um, yeah, yeah. She was. She, she says she's working. Out. I got a WhatsApp, and um, WhatsApp's the best thing. I realised when I've. Um, I'm much more relaxed now. Uh, I think when I first arrived, especially in summertime, I was a bit stressed out. But now I've learned to just treat myself, eat properly, and um, you know, I was always like, starving myself. And, you know, and uh, trying to eat healthy, trying to be perfect all the time, trying to be super ripped all the time, trying to be super ripped all the time and everything. But I just, I'm at a stage now where I just like, oh, I'm, I'm going to let it go. And just, um, you know, and I feel much more at ease. Um, you, know, you, you know, you can let things go. Because everyone's like, everyone's like addicted to the Matrix. Everyone's like, uh, oh, I need to have sex with this girl. I need to do that. I need to get this money. I need to get famous. And that's what the city life is. It's a bit trapped to make people trapped and addicted to the Matrix. And But once you let go and travel the world and realize, you know, have the beach life, have nature, then you can uh, be at peace. That's why I'm always longing for Rio. Every any time I go to sleep, Whatever, first, last thing I think about when I go to sleep, people used to think about loved ones or a girlfriend or someone they love. I think about this beach in Rio de Janeiro, you know, it just gives me peace. Because um, the city life is all drugs, it's all selling people drugs to get people hooked on their, um, what do you call it, even, you know, you know, even fast food, sex, the, you know, the nightclub, trying to fit in, trying to look cool. And cities like that, they always end up the most miserable, angriest people. <clears throat> the ones that are kind of like that. Uh, the Czech people's a bit cool, because they have a bit of nature, you know, like um, the farmland and everything. <coughs> so yeah, I'll stop waffling on the video. I'll sum up this video with uh, saying that Prague is probably... My, Prague is probably my second favourite place to live in all the world. Um, I mean, if I had to live anywhere in Europe, it'd probably be... Prague or Bratislava. I'll speak to some Slovakian girls um, online, and 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 they're, and they're really receptive, like sexually and everything. I think they're really forward. They like people, guys who are forward. Not, I'm forward because I online I'm forward because I don't like to waste time because that time's valuable. 
Um, but here they like the boyfriend mentality. They really start to, but they kind of like they like the dating, the boyfriend thing. You do find one or two girls who are into that kind of sexual stuff, you know, online. But then it's obviously it's too nervous for them to meet. They don't meet in person because it's, they, they end up being too nervous. So don't let that delude you that all girls are like that. You still got to do the system and predictable, boring games. <laughs> You know, but um, I've been back in the city for uh, a week now to relax after living the farm like, farm work, working 14-hour shifts in the farmland. But it's good, but you know, but, yeah, it did have me feeling like really refreshed. And then whenever I come back to the city, like Bruno or Prague, I feel sick. Like the first few weeks, I just feel sick. Like I'm back in the Matrix. You know, I'm back at becoming like you know everybody else's. You know, uh, like a robot, like everybody else's. Stop. <laughs> it's melted, but it's. It's still in the uh, still in the cone, which is cool. Um, that's why I'm still longing for Rio de Janeiro. But I think I'll regret it when I go to Rio because the people here, no place is perfect. Everyone here has, you know, the people you're looking for or the nature. You know, you can't have it all. This is the best food in all of Prague, guys. Got the uh, this is famous chimney they call it. Pistachio ice cream with strawberries in the center. Pistachio nuts, walnuts. Got a treat myself since my last day. I took a few days in Prague. Yeah. This and goulash is what I Prague's all about. I got a healthy one because it looks like diabetes, really. But yeah, in Czech, yeah, yeah. Since yeah, yeah. Are you yeah. Big Czech? Uh, a little. I'm learning like Dobby Den, Jinkui, all that kind of stuff. Oh, wow, this is. So, the guys, this is the best place to come for chimneys in all of Prague. Uh, just had the double pistachio. So, no one, this is the only place in Prague that does them like this. Uh, they, you asked. So, I, I did get a healthy one because they had a. Uh, I put straw, strawberries inside of it. So, they can do anything anyway. This is the best place in all of Prague to come for Because the rest of them just sell them like ice cream and, and the donut. But this does everything. See, I'm going to taste it. This has got pistachio ice cream, which is kind of healthy. But... Mm. Yeah, really good. It's got it's got strawberries on as well. Really good. Wow. See, so, yeah. So this just tastes healthy. Mm. It's the best place in all of Prague to come for these uh, chimneys. It's probably the, it's probably the second second um, second most favourite Czech food. I'm gonna try it with the pistachio nuts. <laughs> Yeah, this is much better, guys. We came here before, like, yesterday, and it was really uh, crowded too hot, but now uh, it's really peaceful. There's no sun gone down. I can tell I've been sweating all day from the, uh, the, the castle in the background. So we're going to do that tomorrow. The castle. So yeah, we're going to do that and uh, explore some places. Could that be a bit more chill? We're going to find some parks as well, because I remember in the outskirts they have some... When I got the bus from Ostrava, through all Prague, I yeah, saw some uh, parks as well. Parks would be a nice place to meet people. Yeah, thank you, Wallet, that you picture. Mm. We don't need a haircut. <laughs> Just met a nice uh, Costa Rican girl on our Instagram, so yeah. She was really cool. Costa Rican girls are really cool. They like surfers like me, so. It's always something amazing when I drag. I was thinking of getting my Joe staff and doing some going shirtless and doing uh, my Joe staff skills there. Because that's the best way to pick up girls there, because there's always. Perfect to live here because I think it's probably the best place to live in the next to the bridge to pick up girls. Because I just speak to a cool Ukrainian girl there. Yeah, I really got on. <laughs> the 
museum and talk to you. We have more museums in the city more than anything, so come join guys and we'll, we'll do all the museums in one day, see which is the best. Lots of uh, fun games to play around here. The Sex Machines Museum, nice to eat this. That's it. And you have another Sex Museum and a Torture Museum. That's what we're park really is like high quality pictures. When, the, when it's clear, it's been. People say it gets really miserable around in the winter time, so now it's starting to get miserable. Hopefully, it's not going to be great like this, but if it is, then we're leaving anyway, so that's cool. See, so yeah, Prague, you've got to be making the most of the girls in the summertime. Like the, the energy is completely different, they're so good, so cool in the summertime. They're even cool now, more relaxed, but the energy is really high, sexual energy is really high during the winter sun's out. Yeah, one thing about uh, Chechi, Chechi invented the pantyhose. So when uh, you see me in Paraguay with my, uh, the girls in the motel room dressing them in pantyhose and stockings, I, uh, we all have a. Uh, Czech Republic to thank for the uh, for making our girls look really sexy in the pantyhose. This is weird, they're building this new statue. It's weird. That, I don't know if they're building it or renovating it because it looks brand new. Like I thought these statues inside are like, like hundreds of years old. That one was hundreds of years old. But this one is uh, maybe if it's got low, but it'll look really gothic. Yeah, it might look, look something like now from a Devil May Cry or Dark Souls game. Especially with the um, 